Hi, this is a response to I'm Rational's response to Vine Rhyme as part of their ongoing debate about evolution. Maybe I shouldn't say ongoing because his video was posted almost a year ago, but I only just saw it now and I wanted to respond. I wanted to tackle this idea of uh, MRSA, of, of these antibacterial resistant bacteria, and uh, that they've got resistance to all kinds of antibiotics and so on. And it's sort of been implied that this is an advance, this is an evolution of those organisms that they've improved. Um, and I want to challenge that. Uh, because it seems to me that if MRSA was so great, it would have dominated the planet already. And, and it certainly wouldn't be uh, spreading as slowly as it is. Because keep in mind, this is bacteria that we talk about, okay, uh, they could, given unrestricted access to food and so on, they could cover the whole planet in a matter of like two days or whatever it is. They reproduce very quickly. Um, it's taken a decade for the number of cases of MRSA infections to, to double. And, and doubling is bad, doubles a lot, and it's taken 10 years. And for bacteria, that, that's, that's, you know, that's glacial pace. If MRSA was so great, wouldn't it be the dominant sort of bacterial strain to begin with? Um, the fact that it's not, I think, suggests that while MRSA may be good against antibiotics, it's probably not so good about all the rest of stuff that comes with, along with being alive. If you're alive, you have to be able to get food, you have to be able to get water, you have to be able to do all these kind of things. It's not just a matter of having one magic bullet against one particular disease that might do you in. And, uh, and that's why the sickle cell trait isn't such a great example either, because although sickle cell trait may protect you against malaria, uh, it brings with it these problems where 25% of your offspring are going to have sickle cell anemia and, and, and die and so on, and that's no good. Um, and the Down syndrome, similarly, is, is a bad example, because while it may protect you from the one hypothetical disease that was, you know, hypothesized, um, it, it's, it's such a detriment for everything else. And, and life is more than having just one particular danger to face. If you're going to succeed at being alive, you need a, a good collection of basic skills, okay? In the case of humans, uh, intelligence helps a lot, okay? And, and good eyesight is a good thing because you can see where the food is and some physical coordination so you can deal with it, you can get out there, you can go do it, and, and so on. And these are basic skills that help survival in the face of, of just sort of broad dangers, not specific dangers, but just the general hazards that are simply out there in the world. To be able to evolve those kind of things is to, is to evolve a, a more sophisticated, um, competent, I'm going to say balanced organism, okay? Uh, a good example being a shark. A shark is very good at what it does, and presumably that's why they haven't changed much in, in the eons that they've been alive. There's an example of a good, sophisticated, balanced kind of organism. He didn't pick up just one magic bullet along the way here and there and, and slowly build this arsenal and be resistant to all kinds of diseases and so on. No, it's it's... It's, it's, it's not like that. It's different from that. It's, it's that he's a good organism. Um, now, does evolution provide a means where, where this sort of forward motion can take place? Where the organisms, they don't just move sideways by picking up a magic bullet, but they move forward by becoming a more developed organism. Um, I don't know of any examples. I would say that the MRSA thing is not an example of that. That's an example of sideways motion. This one particular change came into the environment, and it adjusted to meet that change, but as soon as you were to take that change away, your, your old normal bacteria are going to come to dominate again. So that's just a, we can do it with the antibacterial resistance, or we can do it without the antibacterial resistance. I mean, it's a, it's a sideways shuffle there. It doesn't move the organism forward. And uh, the other two examples certainly don't move the organism forward either. Down syndrome would be a big step backwards as far as general um, competitiveness would be concerned. So, uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you.